Great to see you. Love this movie. Hilarious. But in addition to it being very funny, there's a wonderful message that is so contemporary right now that I think millions of people are going to be able to relate to. And that you is, think of they're going to be out there trying to pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> get, get yours back. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I think people are going to Oh, understand. no, it is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your thoughts about that? You know, it's not just a comedy. And it's his fault because he, he put it all oh, in. Yeah. You tell him about that story. Uh, well, let me let me let me let me let's zero you in. Uh, I didn't read the script until after they'd given it, it to him, uh, and uh, he turned the first script down, which wasn't this script. So if he hadn't, then we wouldn't. You understand? Now go ahead. Yeah. No, I turned it down. I felt my character was a cliche. And I also felt that it was gr gratuitous. We rob a bank, and it felt like there was no reason for it. it was just three old guys robbing a bank for who had no experience, and it just seemed stupid to me. I, they they kept coming back to me. I, they said, "What?" Finally, said, "What would you do to that would uh, would uh, change your mind?" I said, "Well, give them a reason." I said, "There's plenty of reasons for robbing a bank." So I, I outlined the bare bones of what this thing. I didn't write it, but I just had the concept. I outlined the bare bones of what their motivation would be, and they went for it, and that was it. Uh, and it, it seems to have made a difference from what I can gather. I found it also amazing that with the careers that you three gentlemen have had, that the three of you haven't really worked together in this way uh, before. They, but, they've worked together a lot. We've worked together. Well, you have, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. But I mean, all three of you, I should no, have no, said no, it that not, way. Yeah. No, no, But even when we worked together, we worked the, the leads in a movie. We, I mean, in Batman, we were, we were characters who met and did Support. Supporting actors. They're busy doing the huge hits. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the off-Broadway uh, versions of their movies. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun to see the friendship thing because I think of also people will relate to this idea that people can be friends for 40 years and deal with all the issues, whether it's health issues, yeah. money issues, family issues. Yeah. And I think, you know, the children, I mean, that was great. I love that, that my relationship with my granddaughter. I, I love that area of it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's a doting grandfather. That's I'm, I'm a new grandfather. Yeah, so I'm not new. I've been yes. seven years, but but I'm a I'm a I'm in up and running for best grandfather in the world, and I'm trying hard. Mm. Yeah, I bet you're doing pretty well in that department. Mm. Oh, ask them. I, they'll yeah guarantee. Alan, of course, you came out of Second City. Know all about improv. Were you able to do some improv in this movie, the three of you? No, it wasn't. It wasn't no. necessary. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I play with dialogue a lot, but I do in a way so that it doesn't affect what other people do. I don't. I don't feel like it's fair to, to uh, inflict yeah. that on anybody else. So I do it w internally within my own speeches without hoping to bother anybody. Um, each of you, do you have a favorite scene from the film that you that you love when you think back on it? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Favorite scene from a film? From this film. From this, this film this, that yes. we loved. Yeah, gee. There were so many oh, well, I nice loved the, moments. I love the scene that I wasn't in. I love the scene that the, the, the Chinese girl, the little girl with Morgan. I thought that was a lovely scene because yeah. I was standing I, in the bank watching it. Yeah, that know. was one I liked too. Yeah. yeah. And, I, I, I and like there's the a little Chinese girl who's going to steal the darling. movie at the end, believe the, me. The scene in the end where she goes down the line, I... I that was lovely. I, I like a lot. I love the little Chinese girl. Yeah. She was terrific. She was yeah. terrific. Also, I love you and Anne margaret and, Oh, uh, that, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. She's, she's Isn't she wonderful to work with. She's... <laughs> she's uh, She's like she's she's like a teenager that's doing this for fun, and it's like she's never done it before. She's a joy to work with. The fact that Zach Braff is also an actor mm. uh, and mm. directs this, of course, mm. does mm. that make him a better director, or does it help? Uh, maybe that's not the right way to ask it. it. Being an actor, does it does it add a little extra oomph to his directing? Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. I, I think it. Yeah, it, it has a huge measure of understanding what. Actors go through. Yeah, yeah. Um, some, uh, particularly writer directors, uh, are so enamored of what they did that they don't hear what you're, you're doing. doing. Yeah. So yeah, Zach was 
and probably will continue to be a terrific director. The bank scenes were great. Um, and <laughs> those masks, did it get a little, a little hot under those masks? Yes. Oh, yes, it did. I yeah. discovered that I'm allergic to uh, latex. I didn't think I was allergic to anything in this world except cold weather. Yeah. But. I'm allergic to penicillin. Are you? Yeah. You I'm allergic have to, to penicillin, take any penicillin shots, too. Though. <laughs> I had to wear the mask. Yeah, you wore the mask. I didn't know I did no penicillin in this movie. No, no. It wasn't necessary. No. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's yeah, a good yeah. thing. I, 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 if, if it's penicillin in the movie, I don't do it. I turn it down. <laughs> when. The, the thing with the kids was always terrific. I loved Joey. She was marvelous. Um, and my granddaughter, I loved. I thought she, she was, was wonderful. She was terrific. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and again, getting back to, I've got to get back to, I love the fact that, that you and Anne Margaret, it shows that, you know what? Older people can have sex. I think that's a very important <laughs> message that you put across with this, in this film here, Alan. Yeah. Thank you. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> When you think back on it, um, you mentioned favorite scenes, but is there something about this film that, you know, had you, had you seen the original film, by the way? Yes, I yeah, saw yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And so it must be nice to see how this has gone. And com uh, it's a completely different direction. Yeah, what it, do you call it? it a reimagining? Yeah, reimagining, not a remake. Uh, it's a reimagining. You know, a remake is like a word for word redo. Uh, the, the, our characters are all different, the motivation is all different. Uh, yeah, the family situations. Are Endings different. all different. I mean, it's yeah. a different movie, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And as I said at the beginning, I think people will be able to relate to this because there are a lot of, yeah. a lot of corporations that are pretty much pulling the same stunts yeah. Yeah, that that you see in this movie. Yep. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, I do want to ask you some Chicago stuff because I think all three of you have had experience. When you mentioned yeah, cold yeah. weather, uh, I'll never forget you say you will never after. Uh, after Chain Reaction, you said, I'm never going to make another movie in Chicago in the wintertime, and nope. I think you've held true to that. I am. I'm telling you. It's just it's a foregone conclusion. If it's winter, don't even mention Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but you do love our city, I know, when it's summer. Well, no, yes, it, it's a lovely place, and, uh, and I've been there in, a numerous of times uh, in, in the summer when it's nice, and but... It's not a place to be. It's no, I, no I country did. for old men. Yeah. No, but I, I did a movie in Chicago in the winter, and it was called The Weatherman. Yeah. You know. Remember that. Yeah. I also did three Batmans there. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, you so know. I know Chicago very well, and I like it a lot. Yeah. But it was all our, all our stuff was in the winter. Yeah, but we were inside. Yeah, inside Always a lot. inside. Yeah. yeah. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Talk back about the, the early days of Second City, and you must be so pleased with what's, how that has had such an impact on the world of comedy and, and entertainment. Well, it, it, it changed my life in every conceivable way. Uh, I, I went there in a, with a sense of defeat, because I'd give, give up a, any chance of ever having a career in New York. I, nothing was happening for me. And I got offered this job at this little hole in the wall in Chicago, and I said, well, it's better than starving. So I went there, and six months later, we started getting international attention. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that was 50 years ago, in the pl and, sec and it was Second City, and sec it's still going after 50 years. One of the most uh, amazing moments of my life was when the, the, those of us who are still alive were given a standing ovation at the 50 year, and, and we looked at each other with our mouths open. We, we went there, to, we, they, they talked about us like we were legends. We went there to survive. We had nowhere else to go. We didn't belong anywhere in the world. We didn't know if improvisation was ever going to mean anything, and uh, and it turned into an institution. Uh, I was there that it was very special. Very were special. you there? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And as Could Joyce you? Sloan said, the great lady from Second City yeah. who you knew well, she said the one thing about Chicago it allows you to fail, so you could go on and keep trying things and trying <laughs> things yeah. and trying things. Yeah. And uh, well, Sheldon Patinkin was at my my dearest friend for the entire time. Very special guy. Yeah, Absolutely. I miss him terribly. I'm sure you do. Yeah. He was could a great you, guy. Could you do a, a shout out for me about his extraordinary erudition? <laughs> I, I offered him a little, uh, you know, a little cash. And I'm just it, trying to, you know. He's joking. He's I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've known him long enough to know that. 